Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So last time we dig up the fifth tablet of the game, at least I believe that's what we did. Yeah, it is. But this time, we are going to be moving on to chapter 6, the final chapter of the game, which means that, well, we are very, very close to finishing up this Let's Play. Winter Day 10, so you know what that means. Sleep one more time and we are going to begin chapter 6, which I believe is called The Twilight. Are you ready? I'm pretty sure you are, because I am. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, I believe it's called a Twilight, and, well, we will see the changes that happen, that happen in the transition between Chapter 5 and Chapter 6. So, let's do this. There's our son, of course, with a Soul Elder in the back, as you can see, because it's winter, apparently. What are you doing by yourself? Dad, why did you start farming? Why? I, I like how he's asking, like, it just feels weird that she's answering and he said, Dad. I don't know a lot about it. Before Link was born... And... Wait, what? What the hell? Before Link was born and the Spring Takura came here with your father. He had come once before with someone else. Who's that man? According to Takakura, that person was your father's... Father. So, your grandfather. Really? My grandfather? Then, what did he do? I don't really know anything else. Really? You've been married for that many freaking years and you haven't even had a talk about like your family and your past? Are you kidding me? Takakura doesn't talk much, you know? Yeah, but like... Can he give you some... I'm pretty sure he knows something. Your father doesn't like to talk about it either. Oh, okay, I guess, but even then, I mean, really? He just says he took over the farm because his father wanted him to. In that case, I want to take over the farm too. For grandpa's sake. <laughs> really? I'm sure that'll make your father happy. I mean, still, he doesn't like to talk about it, but you'd think you would at least tell your wife after being married for like 20-something years, you know? A few years later, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, well, oh, I am really old. Your son got old. So am I. Again, that's Takakura talking to my father, which is Link's grandfather. Celia still looks young, even though her son has grown up. Well, Celia finally has some aging hair there, you know? Aging hair, really. Gray hair. <laughs> Link has become a good young man. Let's see what else. What else is new? It really has been a journey though. It seriously has. And the way that you see things, you know, it looks like our son will definitely own this farm one day. He will. Because I am just old. 30 years have passed, approximately that much time since the beginning. But only you, you only play 10 years. I'll take over from here, so you go home and rest. Yeah, see, as you can see, I mean, I'm still kind of working, I'm still helping out, but really, he's the one that's doing it. Link is tougher than his father now. It might be time for me to retire. Oh, man. We're all getting old. See, that's one really good thing about this game. You really see the, you know, the real, the reality, like, it's, it, compared to other Harvest Moon, yeah, the Twilight, that's what it's called. Compared to other Harvest Moon games, this game really does depict a reality. It really does. That's what I like, you know, like I said. The whole, um... For one, when you're planting right here, you know how Harvest Moon games have, like, you know, people make parodies of it, of the whole, you know, you press the A button and, and your character will throw seeds, like, here, 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 here. Basically, like, a square around you. Like, no. This one's like, no, no, no. None, 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 none of that fake stuff, you know? None of that. Instead... It's realistic, planting one by one, watering one by one, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, it takes forever and it's kind of annoying, but it's reality. Unless you have sprinklers, of course, which, you know, Harvest Moon, I guess, is... They've never had that. They really don't like doing that. Because they want you to actually work hard, you know, not take the easy way out. But, you know, like the whole cow pregnancy thing. That's realistic, you know, you, you have to get them pregnant. You need to get a bull, a male. You have to get them pregnant. And... That's the only way that they can give a milk for some time, then they can't. In other Harvest Moon games, 
if you buy a cow, it'll give milk forever, which is, you know, people I guess like that, but it's fake. It's not real life. And then, you know, you usually don't age in other games. You, you play a few years and you watch some, you know, like you usually have to do some stuff within a certain number of years, but in general... Okay, see, why does our horse go missing every time it's a new chapter? I don't know why he gets... he goes inside. That's weird. Yeah, but, you know, um, other Harvest Moon games like the most is you have to do a certain amount of time and a certain amount of... I mean, a certain amount of work, sorry, and a certain amount of time or years. But you don't actually age, you, don't, you know, you don't see the, the villagers aging and all that stuff, you don't. But in this one, you do. And you, you can clearly see how it's working out, you know, like, I'm getting old, obviously I have gray hair now. I'm old. I still work, you know, I still do this, you know, riding my horse around, and everybody, like, grand, you know? Everybody's old. This entire valley, they're all old people, pretty much, except the young ones, like, you know. I mean, you can't really say young ones anymore, because Link... Kate, and, um, what's her name? Shoot. Um, Lumina. That's right, Lumina. Or actually, I don't know so much about Lumina. I, I want to take a look. Uh, who's here? Wally and Hugh. Cool. Um, who's over here? Patrick and, yeah, see, even these guys got even more gray hair. I believe they already had some, but damn. That's just crazy. So, see, that's one really good thing about this game. It does do a good job in depicting reality, even though, I mean, again, it can get very boring, and it's a very drawn-out game, but it, it does do a good job of that, and that's why I like it, you know, you re you actually do feel it. Like, right there, you know, how Link was like, I'll take over now. You see that your son is not going to inherit the farm because I'm just too old. This is the last year of us playing this game, which means three more parts, and after that, it's over. It's over. The game is done. I'm not going to tell you what happens because I don't want to spoil it, but... The game is done. Uh, let me take a look at... Uh, you know what's interesting is that Romana still is... Alive. I mean, I don't want to say like to be mean, but... She was this old in the beginning, and then 30 years later, she's still alive. Like, are you kidding me? She looked like she was 70 or 80 years in the beginning, and now 30 years have passed. So... I don't know. And then, yeah, I guess she talks about the whole, you know, the whole life and how this village started and Forget-Me-Not Valley. Pretty interesting, I must say. But yeah, you know, she was, she looks like she was 70 or 80 in the beginning, and 30 years later, she's now 100 or 110. Which is, like, really? 110? I don't know. So, where's Lumina? I want to see Lumina. I want to see how she, how she looks. Because I honestly don't know. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I can enter it. Lumina's in here. Yes. Hi, Lumina. Yeah, see, Lumina's still young. How nice to see you today. Please make yourself at home. Yeah, see, this is why... Wait, what? Now Kate is using Grandma as a model for her book. Oh. See, this is why... It's not good. I mean, as much as I say that, you know, Lumina should have been a marriage candidate. No, she was too young in this game, and you can clearly see it. Imagine this. Imagine this. If she was a marriage candidate... In this version of the game. In the PS2 version, she's older. I understand that. But in this one, look at this. A freaking old guy with a young... No. No. I'm sorry, but... See, that's why they didn't want to do that. Please don't go into my bedroom. Oh, okay, um... Fine. I won't. Yeah, so, anyways, um... See, so I guess this is the room to her bedroom then, yeah. Because it connects to that side. Whereas the one on the right side... Is when that's not being used. See, now it makes sense. Okay. That's not being used. And then the bottom right is Sebastian's room. The center is Romana. And the left side is the kitchen. So, yeah. Alright. Now let's take a look at some other stuff. Such as... Well, actually, I don't know. Wait, where's my horse? Oh, here you are. Here's Misa. Hello, Misa. Let's ride, Misa. I don't know why I keep saying Misa every time. Takakura is freaking old just like me. Oh my god, look at that. Damn. We have aged. We are old men. We should not be working. We should not be walking around village doing stuff. Let's just sit home and, you know, sit in our rocking chairs all day because that's what old people do, right? I don't know. I guess. I mean, it's what I hear from everybody. 
But you know, it, it's probably just a stereotype, of course. Whoa. Whoa. She has gray hair now. That's weird. I mean, I knew you're blonde faded, but damn, it became. Oh, damn. Vesta. Vesta actually does not have gray hair. That's weird. She, it is faded, though. Well, actually, no, she does a bit on the back, but compared to other people, she really doesn't. I mean, come on. It's just faded. This one, this guy's always had gray hair forever. Um, who else? Who else? Carter and Flora. I mean, they're going to be... See, I, I don't know how to trigger that freaking scene with Flora and Kate. Because, again, Flora has to not be in here, and I try, but it didn't work. I'm not going to dig this time, though. I'm going to wait until next time. Okay, Flo uh, Flora is in here. Whoa! She's aged. Well, um, yeah, I'll just get out of here. Yeah, see, I'm already at 11 minutes, so, nah, it's, it's whatever. So, I guess I just want to look at Kate now. I want to see Kate to see how, how old she looks now. Because I'm really not sure. So, let's take a look. Um, where is Kate, actually? Is that her? I believe that's her. Let me see. Whoa, okay, I don't think she's aged since last time. I don't think she got any older. But okay, um, yeah, whatever, Nam. Oh my god, Nam. Oh shoot, look at Nami. She seriously looks the same freaking, are you kidding me? What the hell? Are you Wolverine's daughter, or what? Did you, and <laughs> it looks funny, she just looks at me well. Seriously, you gotta be Wolverine's daughter. <laughs> that looks scary, actually. She just walks up. How the hell has she not aged? Dude, she has Wolverine's X gene. She's gotta have it. She freaking inherited the X gene. Lucky, you are one lucky girl. Seriously. You're Wolverine's daughter. Which means that you are... You are Dawkins... Oh, shoot. You're Dawkins' sister. Because Dokken is Wolverine's son. I mean, it looks like you didn't get your claws, though. You only got the, you know, non-aging thing, which I guess is partially because of the healing factor, but, wow. I guess you have a healing, healing factor. Which, in all honesty, what would you prefer? Having a healing factor or having Wolverine's... Ad actually, not adamantium, because that was later, but, like, having, having his claws... I can't say adamantium claws because that, that was not natural from his gene. That was actually created by him. I mean, created to him. And the only reason he can actually use adamantium is because of his healing factor. Because if you don't have a healing factor, I guess that adamantium kills you because it's poisonous or something. Yeah, but I would rather have the healing factor instead of the claws of Wolverine. Yeah, the claws look cooler to show off to people, but no, no, no. Have the healing factor. Seriously. Alright, so... Um, yeah, this episode was pretty cool, you know, we made it to Twilight, we learned that Nami is Wolverine's son, and yeah, so, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.